National Championship. The Florida Gators have won the Southeastern Conference Championship. Gator Zone is brought to you by Wells Fargo, proud partner of the Florida Gators. Hey Gator Nation, hope all of you are having a wonderful summer. I know we are because we're talking Florida athletics here on another episode of Gator Zone alongside Megan Parler, Jeff Cardozo here with you. And you talk about the University of Florida, you talk about the best, and it's the best of the best in so many championships, whether it's national or just the Southeastern Conference. And when you go, talk about those championships right at the top, what this track program has been able to do, led by the one and only Mouse Holloway. Yeah, Jeff, and he gets it done in the track. The student athletes get it done in the classroom, but he's just so witty and fun. In this mic'd up, mic'd up segment, you will see all of that. The men finish second in outdoors, the women in sixth, and let's see what Mouse Holloway does behind the scenes. You get a hard workout today or something? You looking all focused? Why does nobody want to get a haircut this year? Oh, no, no none of y'all get haircuts anymore. We're going to do blocks, you're going to talk to Bougie all day. We got, we got to get a little better today, all right? Make sure you push off those pads, okay? Yes. Don't run him down. Don't embarrass him now. Ryan's gonna catch you in two steps if you don't run, boy. That sled's no punk, is it? Smooth, even, open hands. Let it flow. Antoine, Kunle's arm. He's folding. Instead of putting him here, he's just doing this. Stop cheating, brother. Look here, you gotta react better to the gun this time, baby. Girl. Okay. All right, here we go. You just stop reaching because look, you're over striding and you put your foot out here and that stops your acceleration. Just put your feet down and turn. Just run away. I love it when they listen. Nice guys, nice. I'm a hell of a coach when y'all listen to me. What are y'all, the squad or whatever y'all call yourself? Yes. I'm coaching today, Ryan Clark. Just keep building now. Lauren, you're welcome. Now find that rhythm, brother. Big girl time. Come on, push out of there hard. What do you know about that song? Nothing. You spending my money? You ain't telling me you're spending me money, though. Boxes aren't new. Oh, you sold some of my boxes. These are the ones that we ordered together. Ryan, I gotta work with Ryan because you're being bad. Come on, you got this. Here we go. Twine, don't let her stop. She's getting here, she's getting here and stopping. Push that thing back. Remember, 50 50 with the knees, all right? Great job, Nikki. Beautiful, Ryan. Hi. How are you today? You're doing much better than you think you are. Cam, remember, sweep and kick. There you go. Lauren G, 10 push up. Lauren, you did it and you lost it. Stay on it. Why are you looking at me like that, man? You tired? Coach Wealthy. Well, Jeff, I know Coach Holloway is sure going to miss Giannis David mm -hmm. in her senior year. She's done so much all the way from Guadalupe, and she was the first ever track athlete to get first place in the long jump That's on the women's incredible. side. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, fantastic. Also, Ho-Hum, second place in the triple dump, <laughs> so she was amazing. We will certainly miss her, and she got 18 points in the NCAA championship. So here is Graham with more about Giannis. When Giannis David came to UF in 2015, she came with more questions than answers. She moved to Gainesville after living her entire life in Lamenton, Guadalupe. The long and triple jumper's biggest challenge would be off the track entirely. Before her new jump coach, Nick Peterson, and head coach, Mike Holloway, could help her get better at her jumps, she had to understand the language they were speaking first. So I was completely scared, to be honest, and uh, I didn't know what to do. I will be the only one for my family in the United States. I don't have anybody with me. Everybody's going to speak English, and I will be struggling because at that time, my English wasn't good at all. Back home, we have English classes and Spanish classes, so I had like the basics, but not like my whole life in English. So, you know, it was pretty bad. <laughs> But you know, now it's, it's way better. She give you this look like, what did you just say to me? To now, when you talk to her, her eyes are bright. She understands, she's very quick-witted. So watching her go through that process has been very, very neat. Cause she never, was she frustrated? Yes. But she never got angry and wanted to quit. She just kept plugging away and plugging away until now, hey, she's, she's a comedian. In that process, one of David's first steps was befriending fellow jumper Darielle McQueen. McQueen, now graduated and on the track and field staff as a compliance intern, quickly helped Giannis get acclimated to her new life. So when I talked to Coach Peterson when Giannis was on her way to Florida, 
He was giving me a little bit of information about her. She's from Guadalupe and she's really good. He's been keeping an eye out on her for some years. So when she finally came, he was like, hey, just help her out. You know, she's a fellow jumper. So I did that. Without her, I think I would have probably been lost, especially my first year. She was always there when I needed her. I knew what she was trying to say, and she knew that I could reiterate that to other people around, especially when she didn't quite have the English language down all the way. At first, McQueen had to help Giannis with even the most trivial of things. She served as the translator between Giannis and their servers at restaurants to help her order the food she wanted. So she, she already knew what I wanted, so she was literally ordering the food for me. She looked at me and she go, like she used her hands to make these facial expressions, and I'm, I would ask her, like, do you like that, or no, or something similar to it. Going to a restaurant, you take for granted how to order food, but that was something Daryl had to do for young. So it really binded them. They were, they got really close really quickly, and I think it helped Giannis feel at home much quicker than she probably would have. David, for the first time in her career, came in first in the long and triple jump at the SEC Championships. With the NCAA Indoor Championships coming up and all of outdoor season after that, some coaches and athletes would make medals the top priority. But David, as well as her coach, think that improvement matters more than achievement. As long as Giannis puts in the necessary work, they feel that the rest will take care of itself. Giannis and Coach Peterson have specific goals, and those, if, if we reach those goals, then, then we'll get the points wherever we need. But we don't put that kind of pressure on our athlete team. It's not what we do. I don't want to put a lot of pressure on myself, because if I focus on that and then I don't do it, I feel like I let down the team or the people that uh, believe in me. So I maybe focus on improving and we'll see from there. Her initial trek from Guadalupe to Gainesville was 1,603 miles. It takes a connecting flight, seven hours and 43 minutes to complete that journey. Four years, two number one national rankings, and one new language later, the team comedian can finish her Gator career with a lot more to show than just ordering food as another journey will soon come to a close. For Gator Zone, I'm Graham Marsh. Well, thanks again, Graham. It's crazy to think, Jeff. We've wrapped up another athletic season, so the 2018-19 season, after track finished, that's a wrap. Yeah, little <laughs> tears, but uh, we're not crying fully because we've got more Gator Zone to tell you about. Plenty more sports to talk about when we come back. Gator Zone is brought to you by Wells Fargo, proud partner of the Florida Gators, and by Gatorade Thirst Quencher, the proven sports fuel. We welcome you back to our best of show here as we get you through the summer and this summer there is a former student athlete that's going to be playing professionally for the pride and that's all she did when she was here. She showed so much pride as a Florida Gator. We are going to miss Amanda Lorenz and opposing pitchers won't though because she was on base all the time more than 90% of her career. She got to first base. Yeah, Jeff and another fun fact about Amanda Lorenz. She's the only softball player in history to ever bat 400 wow. which is insane. But yeah, she was always on the base pass. Opposing pitchers definitely will not miss Amanda Lorenz, but Gator Nation will. Don't pitch her up and in. Wise words of advice from Gator pitcher Kelly Barnhill when she describes how to handle Amanda Lorenz. Lorenz will finish her final season at Florida with more than a few Gator records in tow. She's the Gators all-time leader in walks, batting average, and on base percentage and was the 2018 SEC Player of the Year. I just love getting after it in the cages and, and working on things. There's never a day where I'm just, I'm not happy to be out here. And I think that that just, when you truly love something, it just doesn't feel like work. And um, I, that's why I'm able to work so hard because I just love what I do because it's just so much fun to me. So I think that when you truly love what you do and um, I never want to get out and I always am competing, it's just, it's been a lot of fun. She just has a presence about her. Like she comes up to the bat, she comes up to the plate, and you're like, okay, like I need to be, I need to make sure I really hit my spots. Like I can't miss. If I miss, she's gonna make me pay for it. Lorenz has been a key component to this Gator offense since she stepped onto campus. Despite coming from literally across the country in Moore Park, California, she knew right away that Florida was a second home. I just loved this place and I really bonded with the coaching staff right away and I wanted a place where I would have the whole college experience and that was going to a top 10 public university and um, going to football games and also competing for championships every day and I just really feel like Florida was the only place that I could get that experience out of the schools that I was getting recruited by and I just absolutely fell in love with Gainesville my first time here 
coming out to the field, I just knew that I wanted to be a Gator so badly, and I was just, so, I knew right away. But this season has been about so much more than softball for Lorenz, thanks in large part to nine-year-old Hartley Georges. It's been the best experience that I've had since coming here. Um, just being able to create a relationship with someone else through, through this sport, but also just like using this platform to do something so much better than and greater than winning softball games has been just unbelievable and it's been so much fun. The Gators adopted Hartley in the fall of 2018 as an official member of the team through the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation. In 2018, doctors found a brain tumor on Hartley's cerebellum, which required several surgeries, followed by chemotherapy. The Gators were overjoyed to be able to lift Hartley's spirits, and Lorenz immediately connected with her newest teammate. And I was just so excited to bring Hartley in and have her be a part of our team and then immediately I just wanted to be best friends with her and I was like hoping that we clicked and we did right away and um, we talk all of the, all the time every day pretty much FaceTime and texting and um, it's so much fun having her in the dugout and my favorite thing is when we do um, intros and she gets to wave to the crowd and give her gator chomps and um, you could tell she just loves it so much and she lights up so to see her light up like that and bring smiles to her and her family it's just especially after all that they're going through. It's so special and just constantly reminds me that it's so much bigger than softball. And if God gave me this platform, I'm so thankful that I can do something, a little something good with it because I know that I'm bringing her smiles, but truly she's changed my life. And I know that she's doing a lot more for me than I could ever do for her, but I'm so grateful to be in her life and I'm so thankful that she's part of our team. The bond Lorenz and Hartley share will last a lifetime, and it keeps things in perspective for the Gator Slugger. It's just not all about softball, and life is so much bigger than softball. I've just like always just loved this sport so much, but coming to Florida, like I've really learned that there's other things going on, and it's not just all about softball. I've really just grown so much as a person. As Lorenz prepares for her final run through the postseason as a Gator, she knows her friend Hartley will be cheering her on, and Hartley will be hoping that the opposing pitchers leave a few up and in to Lorenz. For Gator Zone, I'm Joe Prozac. Gosh, we got to talk about one of my favorite sports in softball, but after the break, maybe one of yours? Well, the best sport, baseball, right after this. Gator Zone is brought to you by Wells Fargo, proud partner of the Florida Gators, and by Gatorade Thirst Quencher, the proven sports fuel. Hey everyone, and welcome back into Gator Zone. Jeff and I hanging out in front of the Keithan Stadium, and next year will be the final year at this ballpark before the new one is all finished and ready to be played in. Jeff, don't shed a tear. And uh, the guy that leads the team, head coach Kevin O'Sullivan in his 12th season, and they've made the postseason all 12 years, which is the longest run in school history. Yeah, pretty incredible. And every year he has first round picks, second round picks, and tons of guys in the major leagues because of Kevin O'Sullivan. And you might see this guy in the big leagues pretty soon as well. That's Brady McConnell, led the team in home runs, 15 as a shortstop. It's the most in school history by a shortstop. Drafted in the second round by Kansas City. So he gets to join Brady Singer mm -hmm. and Jackson Coar. And Here's more about McConnell's great season. Sophomore Brady McConnell came to the University of Florida in 2017, ranked as the number five shortstop in the nation. As a national prospect and draft eligible player, all eyes were on him as he began his college career. He says he didn't have to think twice about becoming a Florida Gator. I've been a Florida baseball fan, Florida fan my whole life. So I've been, I think I came to my first camp here. I was probably eight years old. So I went to a bunch of camps here growing up. I came to a bunch of games with my family. So it, once I got the offer, it's pretty easy to pick Florida. Brady's career at UF started on a high, hitting a home run in game one of his freshman season. McConnell swings and sends one high in the air to left. Crimmon is back at the wall, and Brady McConnell has his first career homer on opening night. That's how you atone for an 0 for 3 day with three strikeouts and an error. Send one sailing out of McKeithen Stadium. Yeah, I mean, it was honestly, like, I, I was talking to some people after that game. I was like, I honestly don't even, like, remember the game. Like, I, I feel like I blacked out in the middle of it. So it was definitely a, a experience I've been waiting for my whole life. I mean, obviously, like I said, I've been dreaming about coming here. So to hit a home run in my first game was, was a really cool experience, and I'll remember that forever. Things quickly changed for Brady when an injury kept him in the dugout for the rest of his freshman year. He says having to sit out was challenging, but ultimately the experience made him a better player. 
Obviously, it's very frustrating for me. I hurt my hand in the very first game and then ended up trying to play through it, but couldn't. So it was, it was frustrating because I had some problems where we couldn't figure out what was going on with my hand, things like that. So it was a frustrating experience, but I also learned a lot. Um, I tried to keep my ears open as much as possible because you have people around like Brady Singer, Jonathan India, Deacon, people like that. So I think I learned a lot from those guys and it really it's helped me this year. With a less than ideal start to his college career, Brady worked hard to make the most of his sophomore season. That was one thing that I really wanted to focus on was playing every single game this year. And I've played every game so far except for our very last one. So was that 39 out of the 40 games that we played. So that was one thing that I was really looking forward to. I wanted to be out there every single day. And even when I banged up, like not feeling great, I'm like, well, I can play, so I'm playing. Like, you're not taking me out, because once you sit there and watch for a whole year, it's definitely, you, uh, you learn to be more grateful for being able to play. Brady says the camaraderie of the baseball team on and off the field is one of his favorite things about the program. I mean, honestly, I've played with a lot of these guys growing up, and it's just so much fun hanging out with them every day, coming to the field with them, living with them, stuff like that. This is something that you don't get if you go other places. Brady has a tight support system around him, made of teammates he's played with since high school. Being from different cities, we play on the same summer team, and then when we go back for high school, we'd stay in touch every day and talk and try to see how each other's doing with their season and stuff. So, I mean, we're, we're usually always together. I mean, if you see me off the field, you'll probably see Brady right next to me. Brady has been an athlete since he was five years old, playing not only baseball, but basketball and football too. He says baseball challenges him in a different way. Shortstop is definitely a difficult position. I, I've played it my whole life, but especially here, like it speeds up. Like when I got here last year, it sped up on me a little bit. It's obviously difficult because at second, you have more time. Third, you're closer. I think it's just a really hard position. You gotta make some tough plays here and there, but uh, I think it's fun. The challenge is fun. I think it's awesome just knowing that you know, he's a plus plus infielder and any ball hit to him, I think is an out automatically. Every time he goes off, I'm happy for him. I mean, like you said, he's my best friend. So, I mean, every time he's swinging the bat well, I'll be the first one to congratulate and give him a hug when he gets back in the dugout. No matter where I go, I'm going to work as hard as I can and try and play this game as long as I possibly can. So, I mean, wherever it takes me, I can't really control it, but I'm just going to control what I can, how I do it, and how hard I work. Though Brady's baseball career may have faced some bumps in the road, it's clear that the journey is what made him into the player he is today. For Gator Zone, I'm Hannah Peary. Jeff, after the break, I think I really like saying his name, but why don't you do it in your really good radio play-by-play -play voice? Like the uh, either what the fans say, like say "Whoa, Nelly," <laughs> or Nelson Maldonado, the great senior, is next. Hey everyone, and welcome back into Gator Zone. Jeff and I made it a little bit further into McKeithen Stadium, and we were talking about bat and ball sports yeah. earlier. One of my faves, Amanda Lorenz, made it three out of four years to their Mecca, the Women's College World Series. And this senior on the baseball team, Nelson Maldonado, also made it three out of four years to the College World Series. And in 17, they brought home the trophy. Yeah, big reason why they won. Because of Nelly, but he saved the best for last. The senior season, incredible. Most home runs, best batting average, all the little things Nelly did. And he was certainly a leader on this bunch. And we are certainly going to miss him. The Gators designated hitter Nelson Maldonado has been a staple in Florida's lineup since his freshman year. The consistency in Nelson's career makes sense for a guy who got an early start in baseball and has dedicated much of his life to it. It has been the only sport I've ever played too. You know, I've never really ventured off trying to play any other sport. You know, I've always had a passion for baseball and I've always wanted to keep pursuing, you know, my, my dream. And, and playing in the pros. While seeing Nelson in orange and blue every day for the Gators seems like the norm now, nearing the end of his time in high school, Nelson wasn't sure what the future would hold. You know, I didn't, I didn't know what I was going to do after high school. And, you know, one day Kevin O'Sullivan called me and he was like, hey, Nelson, uh, um, I would like to, you know, watch you play. And, you know, they ended up coming to see me play and uh, they offered me right after that. So. It was kind of, I was kind of shocked too, you know, how quick everything happened, but I knew this was the place for me and, you know, I've been a Gator fan all my life, so I knew I'd fit right in. In his freshman season, Nelson made 59 starts in the outfield, followed by 63 starts in the outfield his sophomore season. But starting last year, Nelson has transitioned into the team's primary designated hitter, a role that is quite different from many others on the diamond. 
DH is probably another mental, you know, uh, I would say position, mental position, because, uh, you know, you don't get, get to take it out on defense. Like, if you have a bad at bat, you can't just go out on defense and make it up. So you, I feel like you have to be mentally tough to be in that DH role, you know, and uh, always be warmed up in the, in the dugout and always be ready to go. And Nelson has provided a number of energizing moments for his team over the years in all of his roles. Now, that's, that's the moment you live for, you know, and uh, gratefully, you know, I've, I've had a lot of moments like that here in my career at UF and you know those moments you know I always I would always cherish and those are probably the you know the biggest highlights of my career. Just because he's such a nice kid it fires us up that Nelson's happy and um, we like to see Nelly happy because that means he's doing good. Yeah obviously it's fun to watch you love I mean it's baseball you gotta have fun with it so I love the way Nelly plays. I think he just attacks every at bat and is very positive and keeps the dugout uh, loose but focused and I think having him in the dugout as much as we do really helps us having a leader in there and helping us through everything. Throughout his UF career, Nelson has had fellow senior and co-captain Blake Reese along for the ride. Nelson is definitely one of the better friends I've had, not just because we're seniors together, but throughout my entire career here. Uh, we come from fairly different backgrounds, but we have a lot of things in common. Um, you know, I think our, our outlooks on life are very similar. And he's a, he's a really, really good dude. And um, I, I couldn't be more thankful that to be a senior, to have one guy to come back with me, that, that it would be Nelson. So that's, that's a really cool experience for me. There have been many memories made on the field for Nelson while at Florida. And he'll take more than just those with him when he leaves. Part of the lifelong friendships I made, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of guys that have been in and out of here that, you know, I've, I've been able to connect with on a personal level. And even the coaches, really, they've helped me out and uh, they've helped me become a better man. And I I'm forever grateful for that. For Gator Zone, I'm Gareth Gutierrez. We want to thank Gareth for doing that story and thank Gareth for the great camera work that you're watching today. He's the man, as uh, each and every one of you are as well. But that's going to do it for this episode of Gator Zone. Yeah, one of our best ofs. We hope you guys have a great summer. You can follow along all summer long on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. The Florida Gators, best team around. Yes, and uh, she is the best as well. My partner, Megan Barler. I'm Jeff Cardozo. Talk to you guys in August.